Hello and welcome back, valued customers, to another episode of Evan's Enchanted Emporium. Today, we will be talking about a robe of useful items. This uncommon but wondrous item can be found on page 195 of the Dungeon Master's Guide. Now, to the untrained eye, this looks like a wizard covered himself in glue and rolled around in a pile of Boy Scout merit badges. But you know what they say, you can't judge a book by its cover, and this is true of this piece of clothing as the item rightly earns its name. The robe we have today was brought to you by my new assistant, the Dillon. The Dillum says that they found this robe on the body of a high-ranking member of the Thieves' Guild in the Bay of Rashark, who died of totally self-inflicted sword wounds, and burns, and and wolf bites. Mm. Moving on, almost every robe of useful items is different, but they always have a pair of the following patches. A dagger patch, a filled and lit bullseye lantern patch, a steel mirror patch, a 10-foot pole patch, 50-foot of hemp and rope patch, and an empty sack cloth patch. To activate the robe, it takes a standard action to remove the patch and it becomes whatever it represents. These are the typical patches that are found in the robe of useful items. But they will also have 44 of other patches. These patches are found in the table below and chosen either by the DM or chosen randomly by rolling for them. If you roll a 0 through 8, the patch is a bag of 100 gold. 19 through 15, a silver coffer which is 1 foot long, 6 inches wide, and deep, worth 500 gold pieces. 16 through 22, an iron door up to 10 feet wide and 10 feet high, barred on the side of your choice, which can be placed on an opening that you can reach. And it conforms to fit the opening, attaching and hinging itself. 23 through 30, 10 gems worth 100 gold pieces each. 31 through 44, a wooden ladder that is 24 feet long. 45 through 51 is a riding horse with saddlebags, and you can find its stats in the monster manual. 52 through 59 is a pit, and it's cube shaped, 10 feet on each side, and 10 feet deep, and you can place it on the ground within 10 feet in front of you. 60 through 68 is four potions of healing. 69 through 75 is a 12 foot long rowboat. 76 through 83 is a spell scroll containing one spell of first to third level up to the DM's discretion. 84 through 90, two mastiffs, and you can find their stats in the monster manual. 91 through 96 is a window two feet by four feet and up to two feet deep, which you can place on a vertical surface you can reach. And if you try to put it on a surface that is deeper than two feet, you're just gonna get a little window shaped pit and it's showing you a lovely view of the extra material. 97 through 100 is a portable ram. Once the last patch is removed, the robe becomes a non-magical normal robe. In theory, more patches could be added to the robe by a very powerful wizard or an incredibly skilled tailor. Since this item does not require attunement, this robe would work for any adventurer, but would either go well with someone who badly wants to be prepared, but is not strong enough to carry gear for every sort of situation on them, or for someone who is always underprepared and is something you can just sort of give them so they'll always have something. Some places that this robe could be found are the laboratory of a transmutation wizard, it could be given as a reward for helping an eclectic young dragon, or always you could find on the corpse of another less fortunate or less prepared adventurer. I'm not judging. Well, thank you once again for visiting Evidence Enchanted Emporium. Make sure you come back next time and we'll make sure to have something special in store for you. Hey, this is Evan from 20 Sided Night. Please like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you next time. Have a good day.